I really should have checked first that this was sized properly. Oops. I mean, I sent you a video as well. Oh, did you? Oh, I didn't even see that. Of course, I've got it in streamer mode, so I don't even... You yeah. don't get the notifications. I'm not getting the notifications in Streamlabs, so... Yeah. Anyways, hello chat on both sides of stream. I'm Lord Rexworth. This is Zoe the Demon Fox. We're VTubers, in case you didn't know that. And we're reading a... not a book. <laughs> yes, not Nailed a book. It. We're doing we're doing one of those things called visual novels, which if you um, if you listen to Gant prattle on on Trash Taste, he uh, now claims, "Oh, they're too long." Da, 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 blah blah blah. I'm just like, yeah, whatever, old man. Anyway, um, we're going to be playing Steins Gate tonight, but first, let me uh, get a browser source add in and. Add in a VDO. Maybe make sure that we I'm have making... the right URL for the VDO. And then uh, let's hide the Discord collab. That's good. Maybe let's see if we can get something else besides a... Blank square? Welcome to more scuff with your favorite VTubers, Zoe and Rex. Yes. We're professional VTubers, we swear. We're Anyways. clearly professional. We have 3D moving models. <laughs> yes. We we are we are professional VTubers. We we are we we are John and Jane VTuber, the most professional VTubers that ever VTubered. <laughs> John VTuber. <laughs> yes. Rex, what are you doing? I'm trying to get VDO to work, but apparently it's not it's not doing the thing. You sure you got the right uh are you sure you sent me the right link, Zoe? It may have broken. Hold on. I I think I think you broke it. What have I done? I don't know. What have you done? What hath you wrought? Fox who is demon. Oh wait, I forgot to turn on the allow camera share in PC face. Silly me. <laughs> ah yes, the classic troubleshooting issue. Have you turned it on? Have you tried turning it off and turning it on again? There it is. In the first place. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's let's size this up just right. There we go. That's good. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then we just copy that. And I'm going to go over to studio mode here. And... Nikki, why are you talking to me in French? I can't speak French. <laughs> And then we're going to paste that in, like so. Right, we'll just resize that later. Anyways, here we are, everybody. We're professional VTubers, we swear. We also use profanity. Fuck yeah, we do. <laughs> According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanic Denalise we now turn, turn to the Oratrice Mechanic Denalise Cardinal. The judgment of the Oratrice Mechanic Denalise Cardinal. Thank you for the redeem, Luna Wolf. I saw a meme of that where the evil king is getting progressively more pissed off because the bard is dancing to him saying it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, time for the meme I was wanting to play. Totally worth it. Yes. I also have my own voice pack version of that. In case you're interested. 
There's a link in my chat. Buy me a coffee. And by the way, all the rest of my links on my website, lordrexworth.com. That's lordrexworth.com. And then... Join the Castle Rexworth Discord. And hey, give me a follow over on Twitter. Jen, thank you for redeeming second. Let's see. Luna, congratulations. You redeemed first there. Yeah, we've got first, second, and third um, on, uh, on the redeems here. So whoever gets in first... Do redeem first. If you're in second, you can still redeem second. Or you can redeem third. And if you're none of those things, you can just redeem the not first. Also, hi. Yeah, there you go. That's it, Rosso. Don't be ashamed, darling. You're fine. You're fine. I think people are still getting used to all of that. <laughs> Would you like a European what? coffee, an American coffee, or a military coffee? Um, <laughs> probably a European coffee. American coffee is too acidic, and military coffee, I believe uh, there's another name for that. It's called motor oil. So, yeah. Not wrong. Yeah, exactly. I have sampled military coffee before. Um, not something I'd like to repeat. Who be yeah. dissing the motor oil your chat says? <laughs> <laughs> it might stream again tomorrow while it's still my birthday. I'll get it then. I will be streaming tomorrow. I will definitely be streaming tomorrow. Um... Probably as early as 1 p.m. Eastern time. Um, maybe even earlier. Don't know. We'll see. Uh, we've got the day off from work tomorrow. Um, plus, let's face it, with the with the holiday falling in the middle of the week uh, in the United States, um, yeah, not a lot of people anxious to get a lot of work done this week. So. Night day for me on Wednesday and also on Friday. Um, it's kind of an on again, off the off again sort of thing. Um, yeah, but um, that's going to be my week ahead. Um, apparently, I will be making the choice to stream uh, on uh, Thursday night. Yakuza Zero. Uh, Wednesday will probably just be. Elden Ring. Uh, Tuesday is going to be all about uh, Jen's thing, but um, if there's some time in the evening after she's off to bed, uh, may pick up something else different, I don't know. Might pick up some more Wuthering Waves, uh, Supermarket Simulator. Um, I don't know. We'll figure something out. Supermarket Simulator guys, customization update. Oh, is there, is there another update? Yes, you can actually name the store now. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So I can actually call it Arkwrights for once. Mickey says, stir fried rice. Step one, use any oil. Heat it up in a pan. Use his crude oil. <laughs> yeah, so just pour in the military coffee and there you have it. Sway Mart. Yes, yes. Genevieve has been uh, playing... Supermarket Simulator on uh, on her Sway streams, and so it's Sway Mart. Everything has this green tinge to it. We swear it's it's not mold and it's not radioactive. It's it's just merchandising. It's labeling. It's branding. Doing that on Wednesday, yeah. She's got uh, she's got Supermarket Simulator on Wednesday. And I'll be doing Elden Ring Wednesday evening. But um, enough about what's coming up this week, tonight. Steins Gate. We continue on with that. It's going to be fun. Live VA work. That's what you're here for, isn't it? 
So, Zoe, I've been prattling on here for a bit. Um, anything that I've missed? Anything you'd like to add? Anything that I so coldly and callously interrupted you on? No, I think we're good. Oh, okay. Rex still crying from that gift. Ah, yes. Um, so, another story time, as if I haven't prattled on enough as is. Um, Jen got a birthday present from me. Uh, you may have seen something on Twitter earlier uh, tagging a, a certain voice actor, speaking of VA work. Um, a very special birthday uh, birthday wish from a Mr. Vic Mignana, who uh, was gracious enough to um, accept a commission from me to, uh, to wish our Genevieve here the happiest of birthdays, and in the voice of one of her favorite characters that he voiced, uh, and that was Crow Bronwyn from Ruby. Yeah. Really, no way. Yes way, Addy. Welcome in, welcome in. Brings in a giant birthday cake and several amounts of drinks and candies and food for Jen's birthday. Now we're talking. Welcome in, Crusher. Crow is also my favorite character. <laughs> He, he did an, an excellent job, as as one would expect, as one uh, would expect from uh, from consummate professional gentleman class act Vic Mignana. Um, yes, absolutely wonderful job. I'm currently exhausted. Void Fox, ow! Not sure what the Void Fox was about, but uh, Void Fox and Demon Fox walk into a bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, do uh, do make yourself comfortable, Crusher. Do feel free to relax um, as we um, as we switch gears now and um, start up Stein's Gate Elite. Let's switch over to a screen here. Oh, gosh! Hang on. I need what to adjust some things. Time? Um, I need to resize myself. There we go. That's better. Okay. And then scooch over here just a little bit. In the corner. That way we leave more room for um, actual gameplay. That would be nice to see. That is what people are here to look at. Now... Ooh, window capture. Which window are we capturing? Please stay seated upright, attach your seatbelt, and clean your ears. Stream is about to begin. Yes. Or well, something like that. In the event of an emergency, put your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. There we go. In the event of scuff, please be patient. The streamers are professionals. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We swear. I think given your tail, Zoe, I may I may have to uh, set you one layer behind me. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's there we go. Too fluffy for stream. Uh, your tail keeps whacking me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's better. I I really should have resized my model back down to this size. I do have a sway stream. I should have done it for for regular streams too. But anyways, here we are. Let's go ahead and um, get underway here. Tiny Rex, Chibi Rex, something like that. Found the meme posted in your meme Discord channel. <laughs> Alright, for likes. Currently a sleepy bean working on only about an hour of sleep. Goodness gracious, Luna. Do, do get some rest. And no, oh, there we go. All right, we we'll start out with an um um. If at any point the game goes black, it's because I'm tabbed out. <laughs> ah, I see. Please. Luca, 
expel this spirit from me. Am I not getting any audio? Because there isn't any audio right now. Oh. At least I don't think there is. Oh god, how do I open the menu? Where is the menu? System menu. One. Why are there so many buttons for a fucking visual novel? <laughs> yeah, sound effect volume's on. There's just no... Nothing going on, I guess. Huh. Uh... Don't worry, Mickey, I thought about that. That's why I hit everything but the escape button. Reason tells me he's a guy, but his lovely appearance makes me feel guilty. Like I made a frail girl cry. The voice of a girl. The mannerisms of a girl. More feminine than any girl I know. But he's a guy. Taller than Mayuri. Yet oh so slender. You know, people don't really judge over that sort of thing anymore. You... You know, you... Want to be attracted to the femboys. It's perfectly acceptable in this modern day and age. But he's a guy. So? Get gay with the homies, man. <laughs> Looks stunning in Miko robes. But he's a guy. The scene is also hilarious in the actual anime because he is so stuck on this fact. <laughs> It's almost evening, yet still hot as hell outside. But he's a guy. What the fuck does that have to do with him being a guy? I'm okay. Looks like you drove away the evil spirit. Good job, Lukaku. Vote now, the Finboy Supremacy Party. With a sigh of relief, I offer Lukaku my thanks. I'm glad I was able to help. Lukaku gave us some corn on the cob, and Mayuri and I left Yanaba Bashi. Yanab Yanab <coughs> Try that again. Yanaba Yashi Shrine. I think I'm going to try and sleep. Wish me luck. All right, darling. Get some good sleep. Dream of me. Bye, Jin. Dream dream of the voice of Crow Bronwyn and all that good stuff and we'll have lots of lots of fun on your birthday tomorrow. Dream of Rex's thick voice. <laughs> <laughs> Though this corn was originally Eh? Sorry, my VC face, I forgot to turn off the Oh. The watermark. Oh. Oops. Though this corn was originally sent to Lukaku's home, Lukaku offered to shed it with the lab after it proved to be too much for his family to eat. I truly owe Luca for providing us with these valuable supplies. Still fired up after Lukaku's exorcism, Mayuri swung a bag of corn about like a sword. Nothing I could blame her. I was excited myself. We tried taking a shortcut, but found her path blocked off. Reasonable, I suppose, given that the bridge led to Radikan. With our progress halted, Mayuri takes out her pocket watch to check the time. Damn, that is old school. It's a very old watch. 
Not the sort you'd expect a high school girl to carry. You know what? I respect it. Its name is Pockety. <laughs> of course you would name it that. Ever since elementary school, Mayuri has carried Pockety with her everywhere. It's the most important treasure. I wonder if it's one of those musical pocket watches. Apparently that was a little bit of a thing in Japan for a while. I know it was a plot device for um, one of the Kamen Rider movies. If she's concerned about the time, it must mean she has to go to work soon. Without saying a word, I extend my hand to my Yuri, offering to take the corn back to the lab myself. <gasps> the hands and touched. Scandalous. How lewd. I don't know if we can show that on stream. <laughs> <laughs> After Marcus 18 plus. <laughs> Oh, wait. Ten bucks says if it is a mu music box locket that it plays a Lethal Company jingle. <laughs> well, well oh, time for me your... to go to work. Wait, Mayuri. Back at Radikan. You heard a man scream, right? Scream? When was that again? This afternoon. I don't think I heard anything. <sighs> oh. Well, alright. Ukraine's a weirdo. Remember, boys and girls, this man is only 19 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I returned to the lab to see a large, fearsome man standing out front. He's the workshop's manager, actually the owner of this whole building, Tenoji Yugo. I call him Mr. Braun. It's a fitting name who, for someone who loves brawn tubes. No sooner had he caught my attention than an unfamiliar woman jumped out from the brawn tube workshop. What's up? Oh, that was excellent. Uh... Um... Uh, who is this? What sort of woman griefs people like that? Let me not butcher this name. Amane Suzaha. You got it. And after that nightmare of a greeting, she just introduces herself. Such bold behavior. Could she be an organization spy? Oh, so you're the kid who wants the job interview. A, a job interview? This young woman? You want to work at the dull, dirty, depressing, debt-written brawn tube workshop with this filthy old manager? Way to score points with your landlord, lad. You want an extra thousand yen added to your rent? My words about the truth, though I suppose it's not my place to get involved. Anyway, I had no idea the Brawn Tube Workshop was hiring. You always look so free. I didn't know you needed the help. Actually, I'm the one who begged for the job. The boss refused at first, but I wouldn't take no for an answer.
Age? 18. Same as me. You don't look it. Why do you want to work here? Because I love CRTs. Hired. You start tomorrow. Wait, what? Is this some sort of joke? Are we on camera? Thanks, boss. Um, who are you? You... you dare ask my name. Banish the thought from your head, girl. To learn it. But place your life in jeopardy. Countless women have learned my name only to find themselves targets of the organization. Sera in America. Claudia in Italy. Simone in France. I won't put anyone else in danger. Oi, stop pulling things out of your ass. This idiot rents the second floor. Name's Ocabere Rentado. My name is not Okabe. It's ho in Enjoy your lurk, Mickey. Quit it or raise your rent. I'm Okabe Rentado. I don't know anything about this organization that's after you. But if you're ever in trouble, Okabe Rentado, let me know. I can help with stuff like that. That's what you'd say if you were a spy, wouldn't you? <laughs> huh? The stuff? Like what? If necessary, I can hurt them so bad they'll never bother you again. Mr. Braun, I don't think you should hire her. Yeah, she might be a wild one. I'll fight her if she causes any trouble. Anyway, ignore that organization nonsense. It's all in Okabe's head. It is? You just keep thinking that. So that's the current trend. Thanks for the tip. Well, someday, the world will kneel before me. <laughs> After I make it back to the lab, I lug the broken TV down to the Braun Tube Workshop for repairs. The sign on the door says closed, but I know from past experience not to take it at face value. Shot sure enough, I see Mr. Braun in his workshop, relaxing with a cup of tea. Yo, what's up, Okabe? What's up? That TV you gave me broke, that's what. I bet you were treating it rough, weren't you? Love. You gotta treat them with love. A muscle-bound bald guy talking about love. Sends shivers down my spine. A big muscle-bound bald guy with a tiny-ass teacup like that just sends shivers down my spine. <laughs> Looks like an espresso cup of tea. I need repairs post haste. Man, why you always talk like that? 
I see no sign of Sousa Hermione, the woman from earlier, inside the shop. What I do see are CRT screens everywhere. The haphazard layout makes them seem like junk, but they're all functional, according to Mr. Braun. He's got a full range of both old and new. Some of them are probably older than me. There are even some flat screen and HD CRTs that came out just before LCDs took the market. Well, that's probably just a loose solder on the board. I'm going to fix it. Really? Well, then by all means. Hold on. I'll get you an estimate. What? You're charging me? What do you think? This ain't some charity? You're the one who gave us the TV! Hello, Jedi. Yeah, so what? Never said I'd service it for free. Oh, curse you. You have some gall to say that after foisting a half-broken piece of junk onto us. Oh, shut up. You don't want it, I can take it back. They'll have to charge you for its safe disposal. Extortion. You dare cheat the man who very well may change the future of mankind. Ha! <laughs> Who's that now? Me, of course. Who else? Oh, brush your teeth and go to sleep, kid. you got some nerve to be black talking when I'm letting you rent the second floor for next to nothing. <laughs> you shall have your money, Mr. Braun. I managed to talk him into giving us a temporary replacement TV in exchange for the repair fee and carry it back up to the lab. It's from Mayuri. Upa, oh. Upa is super popular, you know? Even more popular than Hiro Kakeru-kun. They're so cute, I want to collect them all. It's like I used to collect black fingerless gloves, remember? Should I reply? Which would you like to reply to? Whichever I click controls what he ends up typing. That's like some stupid comment about the fingerless gloves. Indeed, but you must never speak of that to anyone else. It was necessary to steal the abomination lying dormant in this right arm of mine. No, I should do it. Oh, my birthday. Once it got dark, I started looking for more information on the mass disappearance phenomenon and Makise Karisu's stabbing. I searched through a number of news sites only to turn up nothing. So were those hallucinations after all? But while I was looking at at channel, I noticed that a thread was posted by a John Tito. Wait, John Tito is back. John Tito appeared on an American BBS 10 years ago, claiming to be a time traveler. He claimed to have traveled from the year 2036 in order to obtain an old computer the IBN 5100. This claim started quite a storm among the BBS denizens. 
Tita also made several accurate, if fragmentary, predictions of future events. There aren't any really extras in this game, Jedi. It's mostly just Akabe talking to himself. The start of the Iraq War, the spread of Kreutzfeldt, Jacob disease, for example. To prove he was from the future, he explained the principles behind his time machine and provided pictures of its operation manual. But after about four months, he disappeared without ever revealing his identity. At one point, his predictions gained popularity, even in Japan. Yes, he certainly did get some things right. But on the other hand, he missed several others. Some of his posts contradicted each other too. That's why to this day most people doubt his authenticity as a time traveler. So after ten years of silence, that same John Teeter is now on a Japanese BBS. Ridiculous. It's obviously a troll. First of all, John Teeter is American. And yet now, he's posting on an at channel in Japanese. I don't expect you to believe that I came from the year 2036. I see that everyone on this world line would like to know more about my time machine. Time travel technology was developed by CERN. They completed the first time machine in 2034. Game. Is it stuck? It's not stuck, I just don't know what I need to click on to get it to proceed. <laughs> it's a time paradox! What direction I need to go? Down. Time traveler. Lol. John Tita. Lol. More details on the time machine. Do they sell time machines? How much do they cost? I've got a hundred million yen saved. Can you send me one? Oh, I bloody knew it. Oh, what's the world line? Holy shit, I want to redo my life with a time machine. White rice is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thing that divides the north and the south, right? Give up the act, troll! Stern, huh? Haven't heard that one before. Still, if you wish to start a conspiracy theory, you should present more detailed evidence. So who are you? A Cern insider? Oh, I've, I've got it for this one. Hang on, hang on. Oh no. Huh? <laughs> when I hear conspiracy theory, I think Freemasons. Why put this uncertainty in the first place? It's not like there's some evil lib. They've never even officially announced that they were researching time travel. Unless you're saying their practical Fuck. Unless you're saying their particle physics work somehow morphed into time travel stuff. It is an official site. That's in English, though. What the hell are y'all saying? Here's the words I know. Hey, Super Saiyan! <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah, I can't assess this properly. How am I supposed to keep abreast of the situation as Perv is making things so? up? It's assess. You put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> What a son. Is anyone even funding time travel research? Just Google CERN, dude. It ain't that hard. Sex, ecstasy, roofies, narcotics. <laughs> Sex, drugs, rock and roll. 
<laughs> what is this fucking message board? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the stretch and the hydrate, Jedi. Oh, God. How many uh, fucking things do we have to read before it stops? I... Um... Is it over yet? Wait, 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 wait. Go back. Go back. Up a bit. Just tell me when to stop. Oh, you were looking for the John Teeter. Yeah, John Teeter. CERN has a monopoly on time machines. Not even the most powerful nations on Earth can acquire one, to say nothing of private citizens. CERN used their time machine for power. By 2036, the world has become a dystopia. There is no war, no conflict. However, that is a false peace founded on the complete eradication of liberty. What does lull mean? <laughs> Let's see if we can find another one by Tita. This hurts my eyes. Oh, there's one. I came here to change my present. In other words, your future. My mission is to destroy Cern's dystopia and restore freedom to the world. This is a wonderful time you're living in. Everyone is free, but you'll lose it all in just 20 short years. It is vitally important that you understand what the future has in store. What is a trip code? I might get one if you tell me what it is. It's so hard to tell. I think there was one. Yeah, there's. World lines are like an infinite number of rivers flowing in parallel. Along the way, they are constantly branching out into new world lines. This is called divergence. For example, whether or not you post on this message board has practically no effect on this world line's divergence. But if you were murdered, let's say, then divergence would change. However, it would only change by about 0.000002%, if that. A single human being's death is not terribly significant on a global scale. Wars, disasters, acts of terrorism, and other events that cause widespread death and destruction have a much greater effect on divergence. Thanks for telling me about trip codes. I'll make sure to use this one from now on. I'm starting to get tired, so let's pick up again tomorrow. It's been fun talking to everybody. I read through the entire thread, but the archives were already popping up. Of course, there have been sites dedicated to John Teeter for years now. This new John Teeter is clearly an imposter. In fact, imposter is too kind a word. This is probably all copypasta. There are many Teeter fanatics on that channel. He's not exactly a household name in Japan, but I doubt anyone would fall for this level of trolling. As I continue to read, however, I find the response to the opposite, the opposite of what I expected. Everyone is accepting this time traveler as if this were his first appearance. Nobody's even mentioned his appearance ten years ago. Finding this strange, I po try posting a retort, but everyone ignores me. What the hell? You're gonna figure this out if you do a little research, people. There's the original John Teeter thread archive in English, for one thing. Plenty of blogs about Teeter in Japanese, too. I entered John Teeter's name into a search engine. Twelve matches. Wait. Only twelve? Whatever. All twelve are about the current Teeter's postings on that channel. I can't find a single trace of Teeter from ten years ago. 
I try searching John Teeter. Bizarre. This just can't be. I searched for information on Tito a few years ago. Back then I got tens of thousands of hits. Is this search engine filtered? I try searching on another site to make sure, but it gives the same result. What is this madness? Feels like I've stumbled onto another plane of reality. Could this be another organization conspiracy? I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. These past few two days I've been surrounded by nothing but chaos and confusion. Hold on. I just remembered. I know I purchased a book about Tito a few years ago. I scour the bookshelf for it, but it's nowhere to be found. It's supposed to be right here. Impossible. How could this be? I'll call Dadu. He'll know about he'll know about Tito for sure. Yeah. It's me. Report. Look, oh, I mean, can you drop the act when you're on the phone at least? Are you aware that John Teeter has returned? I've no idea what you're talking about. I have a sensitive matter to discuss. I quickly made plans to meet with him at McQueen Nyan Square tomorrow afternoon and hung up the phone. Are you really okay with yesterday's exorcism? I feel like a more traditional ceremony would have been better. I'm worried something might happen to you because my exorcism wasn't strong enough. It bothers me so much I can't sleep at night. P.S. Because of that, I couldn't do more than three practice swings with Samadari. Let's choose... Exorcism, I guess. It wasn't bad. Just a little clumsy. You're a servant of the gods. You need to project dignity and confidence. Work on it. There, yeah, that but... should do it. May Queen in Nyan Square is only a three minute walk from the lab. Coming from. Could I my. Could I buy. Uh, could I my Bashi Dori? Take a left at Suma Koisaka Crossing and you'll find it. Because I'd planned to meet with Dado in the afternoon, I decided to kill some time at the university before heading over. No, oh, hey, it's still my birthday. <laughs> it's usually busy in Akaba doing summer break, but now it's even busier because of the Radikan incident. So many people. Living in Akaba, you, used, you get used to crowds and big events, but a gathering of this size is unusual. But I still don't understand what I saw yesterday. Uh, Addy, thank you for the redeem, but I think Jenna's already gone to sleep. She went to bed a while ago. <laughs> yes. Remind me tomorrow and I will... I will make it up to you then. Mainly because I don't want to spend the next few minutes tr figuring out how to get these damn channel points refunded back to you. 
I've half accepted that the mass disappearance was just my imagination. That's all right, Eddie. No worries. I'm apologizing ahead of time. Might fall asleep while watching stream. That is perfectly fine, Luna. Maybe I've become unable to distinguish reality from fantasy, like the media likes to say about teenagers these days. With that thought in mind, I return my gaze to the street. Hmm? A phone was clearly pointed at me. I tried to cover my face, but not quickly enough. Hmm. The organization's after me. I can't risk that photo getting out. Wait, wait, wait! Oi! You're with the phone camera. Wait. Please wait. Oi! No pictures! Are you with the organization? She completely ignores my objection. And then she goes back to looking at her phone. Answer my question. Are you with the organization? If she is, then I may have to take suitable measures. A man like me is not to be underestimated. Hi, Mort. Thanks for the raid. Raiders, welcome in. How'd Spore go? Did you get better at the tribal stage? You think you'll beat me in the next race? <laughs> the Civ stage in 40 minutes. Goddamn. Wow. You're not? Even so, I can't let you keep that picture. The organization will stop at nothing to find my whereabouts, and they'll kill anyone who gets in their way. I need you to delete that picture immediately. Is she even listening? Sorry. If I upset you. Before you apologize, I need you to delete that photo. I was shooting the scenery. A likely story. The scenery? What, you're a tourist? It's proof of where I was today. Oh, strange lady. Hear you, Moika. Mm hmm. My name. I guess she's introducing herself. Wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. 
It's nice and all, but I just wanted to delete that photo. I have a question for you. Have you gotten better at the fucking tribal stage, Morthmer? <laughs> <laughs> May I? First, the photo. There is an urban legend in Akihabara. And I rattle. Have you heard of it? An urban legend? What's she talking about? The Phantom Retro PC. Retro PC? They say there's one in Akihabara. A retro PC? Oh, you mean like a 98? That's the first model that comes to mind. But a 98's really that hard to find. No. This. It looks kind of familiar. An IBN 5100. Thank you for the Hydrate Redeem, Luna. That's the computer John Teeter tried to get. You seen one? No, I've only heard the name. Coincidence? No. This could be the choice of Steinsgate. Know anyone who might know? Dado probably knows more about it. He's my favorite right arm. A super hacker capable of breaking into even MI6's mainframe. The MI6 part is a slight exaggeration. If that ever did happen, Men in Black would break down our door and take us away. But the super hacker part is true. The depth of his computer knowledge is uncanny. Speaking of Dado, I'm supposed to meet him at May Queen in Yan Square. I don't have time to stand around and chat with some crazy lady I don't go I don't know. Jedi says he loves you. Thank you. Well, I'm off. Lady, media scrum in moderation. I try to make a smooth exit, one liner and everything, but she grabs my sleeve before I can disappear into the crowd. What crowd? <laughs> what are you doing? Your email, please. What are you after? Well, your email address, obviously. The super hacker. I guess she wants to hear Daru's story. It's my fault for mentioning him. Well, I'm meeting up with Daru, so why don't I just take her along? No. Wait a second. This could be a devious trap. I could have included the part where chat was part of that, but I didn't want to, because I wanted to embarrass you, Jedi. Maybe she was really a spy sent to kidnap Daru. 
I refuse. I never give up Dadu. Unperturbed, she shows me her phone again. On the screen is the picture of me that she took. You still haven't deleted it. Tell me, and I'll delete it. You dare blackmail me. Who do you work for? I work part-time at Arc Rewrite. What's that? An editorial company here in Akihabara. Get direct, Jedi! <laughs> Those companies that write articles for magazines. Wait. You plan on publishing my picture without permission, don't you? The mad scientist of Akiba unveiled. I can see the headlines now. Ah, oh, the Jedi, if you hated it here. Why do you keep coming back? That's all the organization will need to turn Akiba into a sea of blood. No. I must avoid that gruesome outcome at all costs. I have no choice. Very well. I accept your terms. At any rate, as long as she has that photo, I have no way of knowing how it might be used. I pull up my email address and show it to her. The woman is typing with terrifying speed, faster than my fingers could ever dream of. It seems she's finished entering my email address. It can't have taken longer than five seconds. Of course, this woman is an esper. I dub her power Shining Finger. There you go. Her magical thumb types cursed emails at 255 characters per minute. Whoever receives one dies. She can type 255 cursed words per minute. Any poor soul that receives one of her emails shall die. Name? Ho in Kyoma, mad scientist. How is it spelled? Like this? <laughs> oh, owning yo ma. <laughs> the hell is this? Are you mocking me? Just hand me your phone, I'll enter it. woman swiftly avoids me, keeping a phone out of my reach. It feels as if she's rejecting my entire personhood. Anyway, she's obviously not going to hand her phone over, so I ask for her address instead. I'll send her a blank email. She told me her name a few minutes ago, but I forgot it already, so I enter her as Shining Finger. That, that could be taken out of context. Oh, yes. A 
I don't need to type anything. It's just to give her my name. I already put her in my contacts. Just send a blank email to Shining Finger. And send. Okabe What? How do you know that name? From the blank email. You fool, you have the wrong name on it. Damn. My email is still linked to my real name. I must change it at once. You plonker. That's just my alias. I'll send another one of my true. No, this is fine. Nonsense. I'm not Hokabe Rintaro, but Ho in Kyo. Did you delete the picture? She nods slightly. I think. I'll email you later. So ask, okay? About what? The urban legend. Oh, that. Almost forgot. With that, Shining Finger wanders off. Oh god, I'm not gonna have fun reading these lines. Welcome back, Miaster. It's Ocarine! In this place, Mayuri is known as Mayushi Nyanyan. Welcome back, Ocarine. Hey, Ocarine, Mayushi just noticed something. Welcome back, and Ocarine go really well together. Wait a minute. He's got a girl who works at a maid cafe who takes a liking to him. I'm sorry, but most weebs would think he's probably the luckiest bastard on the whole damn planet. It's not like they're into each other, they're just childhood friends. They could be into each other. They probably they're should not. be. After all, She's about the only one who would probably be able to put up with all of his bullshit. <laughs> and she does so with such grace and patience. <sighs> Whatever. Kiyoma, it's great that you came. Yeah, fuck. This maid, Feris Nyan Nyan, a professional name of course, hits me with a trademark combo account of cute cat-like gestures. She's May Queen and Nyan Square's most popular maid. If I remember correctly, she owns the place, too. Daru Nyan's here, too. He's been waiting, yeah? Daru frequents this cafe because he's got a crush on Ferris. I also have trouble dealing with this cat girl. She always finds a way to best me. Are you holding another secret meeting to overthrow the evil organization, yeah? Um, yeah, something like that. Ferris wants to join too, yeah? 
sure Dada would love that. No chance. The organization isn't threatened by cat-eared maids. Not Junya. Ferris has the perfect secret technique to help take them down. What? You finally mastered that secret technique? Yes, Nya. After completing my pilgrimage to the Guiana Highlands and overcoming my mentor's death, I finally mastered it. So Ferris wants to participate in the spirit conference like you promised, Nya. You're not suggesting we venture to the sanctuary. The answer is no. Although you may understand the hidden secrets, you're still too inexperienced. But, but you promised, Nya. Yeah? Are you going to betray me? My brother is waiting for me there. Since when do you have a brother? What the hell is a spirit conference anyway? Whenever I talk with her, I run out of comebacks, which is really unusual for me. And then she takes the initiative, leaving me with nothing to do but listen to her fantasies. I mean, come on, you can only take it so far. There's a very clear difference between her stories and mine. As anyone can see, I speak nothing but the truth. Our Ferris is only delusions. And a made-up backstory. I always have to play along. That's why I feel like I could never best her. Um, I don't quite get it, but can we usually go to the sanctuary too? You can't come, the discussion is over. Eh? No fair, Kiyoma. That's right, leaving Miyushi and Ferris Shan behind is me. No. Who's this Ferris? Ferris Chan is Ferris Chan, right? Right. Is she talking about this Ferris? Is that her real name? Have I been mistaken all this time? The only difference is it's spelled with an E instead of an A. <laughs> That's a disturbing thought. Well, maybe she has a hard time saying Faris, so I call her Ferris Chen instead. Oh, so that's it. It's like we're in a girl's school, that's not too... tabby. Show me to the table already. How long do you want me to stand here waiting? Nya ha ha! Sorry, Nya. Table for two, this way, Nya. She guides me to Dedu's table. You're way late. Seriously, man. So what were you just talking about with Ferris? I want details. You really want to know? I don't think you'd understand it. Well, even I didn't get most of it. It's nothing more than an amalgam of fantasy and delusion. Ah, the usual. Your conversations are too much for regular otaku. You guys exude an aura or something, you know? It's like you two have your own reality, Marvel. You know I can't forgive you. I'm not even close to keeping up with her.
dad won't teach me how to be a priest. He keeps saying he has 30 years of work left in him, so he doesn't need my help. That doesn't explain why he keeps trying to teach me the ceremonial Miko dance, though. I did 10 practice swings with Samadari. Do I reply? Yes. I'll reply one reply. thing to reply to. The ceremonial Miko dance. But according to the legend of Ama no Iwato, that means... No. Don't tell me your father intends to open the gate. It's too soon. There, that should do it. Nailed it. Oh god, more mail. What? 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 It's, it's Lukaku again. Is he bored? That's not the right button. So, what do you need? That's right. In my confrontations with Shining Finger and Kaka, I almost forgot my original objective. I was gonna head to the lab in about an hour. I have an urgent matter to discuss. Top secret. Do you remember John Teeter? John Teeter? Who's that? The self-proclaimed time traveler who appeared on the internet about ten years ago. I thought we talked about him before. This is a new addition to your made-up backstory. It's nothing like that. Everything I say is the truth. What pain. Well, I guess I can play along. So, what's the source on this Tita guy being from the future? Wait, you seriously never heard about him before? Seriously, bro, I haven't. Sure you didn't just forget? I can't say for sure. There are even books about him. I might remember if you show me one. You really don't remember? Memories fade. We're not computers, man. I remember talking to Dadu about John Teeter back in high school. It was only idle talk, so it's possible Dadu forgot about it. He looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. <laughs> talking about anything else. Dadu's quite the internet addict, after all. And the internet lets you choose what information you want to see. There's no guaranteed Dadu looked up info on John Teeter. If he had, I doubt he would have forgotten so completely. Is it my memories that are mistaken or everyone else's? Then what about the IBN 5100? I show him the picture Shining Finger sent me. Whoa, you know about that? Cool. So you know about it? It's the model IBN released back in 1975. That's right. The John Teeter from 10 years ago mentioned that on an American message board. He traveled to 1975 first, obtained an IBN 5100, then leaped to 1998. What kind of computer is it? Stupidly expensive kind. Fuck, when it came out, computers were so expensive that average people couldn't get their hands on them. It was full of proprietary IBM technology. It was a pretty powerful computer for its time. Then, six years later, 1981, IBM launched the popular IBM PC series. 
Now that's more famous. Anyway, not like I'm an expert. This is just stuff I read on a wiki. Have you heard the urban legend that there's one in Akiba? You bet I have. Just last month there was big talk about it on the net. Some map channelers heard the rumors and went searching for it. My friend on Free Potter, Sister Centipede, was the main person behind that. Even legendary Needheart, De Blitschnell, joined the fray, but they still couldn't find it. So it was just a hoax. Who knows? There are tons of underground shops in Akiba. Wouldn't be strange if an IBN 5100 suddenly turned up in some hole in the wall. Hmm. I see. My phone suddenly starts vibrating. From... what's with this mail? Sorry about it earlier. I'm not used to talking with guys, so I was so nervous. Teehee. Anyway, can you please, 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 times 1,000 ask a super hacker about the urban legend? Thanks. I'll text you again soon, like it or not. Welcome. <laughs> Disregarding the weird timing. Is this really the gloomy, unsociable woman I met in front of Redagon? Can't believe she's already so friendly, considering we've just exchanged addresses. She's like a completely different person than this email. She have split personalities or something. I tell Dodo to wait a bit as I start typing out a response. It's not like I trust her, but I figure I should tell her what I learned from Dadu. The IBN 5100 is extremely rare. Elsai Congru. Message complete. Okay. Sent. Sorry for the wait, Dadu. So, there's one thing I need to know. The IBN 5100 has the power to destroy the world, right? What? Don't have the power to do anything, let alone destroy the damn world. Who are you calling a gummy bear, Jedi? What's this, Nya? The world's gonna be destroyed, Nya? Master, thanks for waiting, Nyan Nyan. Omelette, omelette rice, Nyan. Please enjoy your meal before the world ends. <laughs> Whoa, the world is doomed for the win. Fetus's handwriting's so cute it puts my omelette in danger, too. Darren Yan, Darren Yan. Have you considered participating in the Ferris Cup, Nya? Yeah, of course I'm participating. Ferris Cup? What's that? Share the Gummy Bears Jedi. Give me some. Next Sunday we're hosting a Rhinet tournament. Oh, wait, that's... <laughs> Sorry. Next Sunday we're hosting a Rhinet tournament at the cafe. Co cafe, fuck. At the cafe, yeah. <laughs> Ferris is the event organizer. It's all my idea, Nyan. You can participate too if you want, Kiyoma. Entrance fee is 1,000 yen and includes a drink. Whoever beats Ferris gets to enjoy some of Ferris's home cooking, yeah? It'll never happen. Bokarin sucks at Rhinet. Yeah, but it's so fun. Looking disappointed, Phyllis meowed her way back to the counter. 
CC or Harris in Jedi. Not even mouthfuls of omelette or ice could stop Deru's rambling about Ferris. His passion is truly overwhelming. Ferris is one of the most skilled Rhinetters I know. She's gone undefeated in over 400 unofficial matches. What is she, Ricks and Gracie? It's so disappointing that Ferris didn't go to official tournaments. She'd win if she did, no doubt. Why doesn't she? I'm sure it's for the customers. She probably didn't want to inconvenience the store. Truly a model maid. Also, she's my Yushi's age, so she probably has school too. She doesn't want to inconvenience a store, yet she's holding the Ferris Cup here. That doesn't matter at all. The point is, Ferris is cute, and cuteness is justice. Cute cat-eared maids are sweet, if you know what I mean. And that's all that matters, right? So in the end, do you bat for the 2D3 team or the 3D team? I dare say I'm bi. <laughs> You're an inspiration, Dadu. I know. I'm just too awesome. Dadu usually doesn't show enthusiasm for anything. The exceptions are Moe and Ferris. I wish you were this passionate about our experiments. In whatever way you want, Jedi. It's still your birthday. <laughs> yes. I had to pull Dadu away from Ferris so we could return to the lab. We return to find it hotter than a sauna in hell. I quickly open the windows, letting a small breeze blow in. It won't be enough. Oh boy, who's messaging now? You're more perceptive than I thought, Nya. So now you understand what's at stake. The Red Southern Cross will soon hatch, Nya. The time has come for Ferris to journey to the Sanctuary and prepare for... I can say no more, Nya. Should I reply? Let's talk about... Let's reply to the Red Southern Cross. I see. So the holders of Original Sin, those who, like me, were born of Prototype 13, have begun to assemble in Akiba, guided by the star that we alone can see. The time is right. How the hell did he pull that out of his ass so quick? What's it like to be that psychotic, I wonder? Yeah. Oh, I really wish we had an air conditioner. I turn on the computer. This is our PC for communal use among lab members. It still uses an old CRT monitor, so it looks ancient. I wonder if the new T tour is still posting. Oh god, here we go again. I, s I see that everyone would like to know more about my time machine. I'm happy to explain. Just so you know, it's impossible to reproduce with current technology. Certain critical components won't exist until CERN invents them in 2034. Time travel works by altering gravity. Basically. You can think of it as using the twin paradox. 
but that alone isn't enough to reverse time. It uses tipless cylinders and curved black holes, doesn't it? Just like you said ten years ago. And your time machine is a 1970s Chevy. I know all of it. This is a surprise. Does this mean people of this age already know about my time machine? Did you really encounter me ten years ago? If so, then that must have been on another world line. I, at least, have not gone to the year 2000. In any case, the important point is that a rotating black hole has the same effect as a tipless cylinder. You can learn more about Kerr black holes by studying the Penrose diagram or tipless calculations. My time machine works by generating a pair of Kerr black holes. This isn't a delusion. I know for a fact that Tita posted ten years ago. There's even a book about it. Search the used bookstores if you don't believe me. His Chevy has a gravity distortion unit. That's what he said ten years ago. Yes, it does have a gravity distortion unit. My time machine is not perfect. It was built by a third party who reverse-engineered CERN's design. The gravity distortion unit is a little unstable. First, the unit produces a micro-singularity, then injects electrons to induce rapid rotation. This generates a local gravity sine wave. As the time machine passes through the singularity, the gravity distortion unit regulates the pressure to ensure safe passage. I'm not a specialist, so I cannot explain the mechanics any further. Let me just say that care black holes can be manufactured. I assume everyone's aware of CERN's current experiments with black hole creation. Wait, wait, wait. Did we miss one? Nope, it's all anonymous so far. No. Oh. I set the destination with the VGL system. That's variable, variable gravity lock. It functions by reading the local gravity of the destination and locking the tipless sine wave into that location. By locking under Earth's gravity, it ensures I don't end up floating in space. It uses four cesium clocks to make the calculation, so the margin of error is negligible. I shouldn't waste all day on that channel. We have more important things to deal with. Namely, the phone wave. Name subject to change. We haven't experimented with it since yesterday. It's high time I figure out what's going on with that thing. Hey, Dello. What's with the X68000? I mean, it's a 20-year-old machine with specs lower than my cell phone. That's cool. Duh. So, it's like the reason why some protagonists are odd-eyed, even though they're Japanese. Not getting you, bro. It's cool. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Anyway, wasn't much of an option. This was the only PC we were using. What about your new one? No way. We don't know what could happen when it's connected to your crazy machine that could kill the performance. Selfish bastard. Anyway, did you do any research on the jellification?
yeah, the university this morning. Why would a banana jellify? What kind of science are we dealing with here? I examined a sample under a microscope and found it was shredded at the molecular level. Shredded? It's not a mere phase transition. The banana became something entirely different. Could it have rotted? Nah, no way two minutes of microwave could do that. Then I remembered about fractal structures. Well, the manga sponge thing. Yeah, it looked like something drilled holes into the banana. An infinite number of holes in a fractal pattern, right down to the nano level. Also, thank you for the hydrate. I have one hypothesis. Dado gulps, waiting for me to continue. It's the result of the microwave's electromagnetic waves. What does that mean? If my guess is correct, then our phone wave, name substitute to change, has the potential to become a weapon of unprecedented destructive power. One that could change the face of war as we know it. <laughs> it's me. We're proceeding to stage two of the plan. Soon they will learn that Judgment Day is near. All shall be as Steins Gate wills. Resistance is futile. El Sai Congru. Quit talking to your imaginary friend. I'm done with the wiring. Well, what's next? We have bananas. Just before I left May Queen and Yan Square, Mayuri asked me to buy some bananas. With her money. You know Mayushi's gonna cry if you use them all, right? Wasn't it her money? She donated that money to her research efforts. Well, you don't have to use the whole thing. One is enough. One! Never reshape the fabric of society as m as long as money dictates the limits of our science. You're the only one who wants to reshape society, Okurin. Come on, start the time already. Complete. A minute twenty. Two minutes sure is long. You got mail. The holders of original sin, also known as the Prophets, Nya. Among them is the girl known as the Fallen Angel who looks like a chaos, Nya. I attached a picture of her face, remembered well, Nya. Oh, and before I forget, looking at the picture without protection will cause Divine Eye to activate original sin excitation mode 666. Compulsory receptor release, which will annihilate you up to the subatomic level, so be careful, yeah. Um. Uh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if the microwave's emissions are doing it, then shouldn't our cells be getting jellified too? I'm still looking bored. Daddo finally gets into the discussion at hand. Well, have you ever nuked yourself inside the phone wave? Name subject to change. I can't even fit in there. Anyway, 
What's your source on electromagnetic waves? If you must know, it's my mad scientist's intuition. Oh, so no fox. Yeah, you might as well have said, My source is I made it the fuck up. <laughs> Edison once said, Without 1% inspiration, 99% of perspiration is wasted. So inventors of the world be inspired. End quote. I wonder if he actually said that. His source is he probably made it the fuck up. Wasn't That's it... how all great quotes were made. They were made the fuck up. <laughs> Wasn't it genius as 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration? Sorry to disappoint, but in recent years it's become common knowledge that that is a misquote. <laughs> Edison said that. Be inspired. Yes, be inspired, he said. <laughs> but I don't know if that's exactly what he said, but I'm sure it was something along those lines. <laughs> At least that's what the wiki said. Therefore, as a genius mad scientist, I am always inspired. The phone wave, name subject to change, rings. Why is there a banana in the microwave? Um, testing out time travel. Look, Luna, the less questions you ask, the easier it will be to understand. <laughs> yeah, just roll with it. This is going to jellify the banana like usual, isn't it? We need a new experiment. Dadu opens the phone wave, name subject to change his door, and peeks inside. What? What? What are you doing? Well, uh, it, it's... It's gone. Gone? What's gone? The banana. Well, what's he talking about? I push Dado aside and look into the phone wave, name subject to change. Dear God! It's gone. Yes, he said that, you plunker. It was gone. There's nothing inside. Yes, that is usually what happens when something is gone. The banana has vanished without a trace. I don't know how many more creative ways we can say, it's <laughs> gone. We need there's... to rephrase Luna's question. Why isn't there a banana in the microwave? Yes, there's the better question, Luna. Why isn't there a banana in the microwave? Or excuse me, the phone wave, name subject to change. <sighs> I speak into the silence on the other side of the phone. It's me. Slight problem. We may have awakened something terrible. What do you mean, something terrible? I ignore Daddy's panic cry. I'm surprised, too. My heart is pounding, but I try to appear calm. I'm invoking emergency order 666. Activate the cold heart protocol. What? What, what do you mean we need congressional approval? There's no time, you fool. Tokyo will be blasted to atoms. Too soon. <laughs> it, it should be an actor. Where the hell did it go? Oh, 
should I know? Where did you go? Banana! Banana! Oh, wait. I think I get it now. It's not an electromagnetic weapon. It's a teleportation device. What? Wait, that's absurd. So is a banana disappearing. Yeah. How else could it have vanished? The microwave was closed. Um, maybe we should just calm down. Y yeah, you're right. Oh, I know. I'll eat one of the remaining bananas. That'll calm me down. And can't believe my eyes. What? What the? Impossible. Well, three minutes ago, Dadu plucked a banana from the bunch and put it inside the phone wave. Name subject to change. Or so he thought. But now, there's no sign that a banana was ever plucked. Instead, a single jellified banana has appeared amongst the, re the regular bananas. Oh, shit. What the hell's going on? Wait, how many bananas are in the lab right now? J just these, I think. Is this gel banana attached to the same stem as the banana you just picked? I, I don't know, man. I wasn't paying attention. Doesn't look like it was ever plucked. That's right. The bunch is completely intact. I've never heard someone say plucked for referring to taking a banana away from the other bananas. <laughs> Aside from the jellification, it looks completely normal. Mary's not going to be happy. Not so much as a sign that the jellified banana was stuck onto the bunch after the fact. Hey, hey Doe. Could this possibly be... The word I spoke impulsively a few seconds ago. I hesitate to speak it again. My head is full of question marks. I don't know how this happened, but if I were to explain it as I saw it... The banana that was inside the phone wave, name subject to change, returned instantly to its bunch. In other words... A teleporter. We've invented a teleporter. Oh. Oh wait. That looks like an interesting experiment. Who's there? I impossible. What are you doing here? The eighteen year old genius girl. A sadist who humiliates men in public, also known as the zombie. I forgot she was still alive. <laughs> Makise Kurisu. Nice expedition, bro. Who are you calling a zombie? What is the meaning of this? What's your purpose here? I'm here to see you, Okabe Rintaro. Or is it Hoeing Kiyoma? Wait, how the hell does she know my real name? I was right. You're one of the organization's top agents. An esper with superhuman powers. No wonder you rose from the dead. 
I'm not dead, alright? Please stop killing me off. Hashida san, can you do something about this guy? It came at a bad time, like I said, she. But awkward and freaking out like this. Dado doesn't seem phased by this girl's entrance. But why? Have you betrayed me, Dado? Calm down, man. Are you being blackmailed? Or did she seduce you? You've crossed the line, bitch. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself. Hasha Sam gave me the address after yesterday's lecture. He also told me your name. Kurisu's simple explanation quells my fiery rage like a bucket of water. Thank you for the stretch redeem, Luna. <laughs> so you're here to see me, is that it? Yes. You claim to have seen me die. I came to see if that was the truth, or just a pathetic excuse to grope me. I came for the answer. Thank you for the stretch, Jedi. Now that she mentions it, she did treat me like I was a perv yesterday. Almost like you were acting like a perv, Okade. <laughs> well, I sh suppose I should be grateful she didn't call the cops on me after what I did. But what choice did I have? Anybody would react the same way if a dead person reappeared before them, right? I would probably run the, the fuck away, not start touching them. <laughs> but your current behavior is all the answer I need. It was all an act to grope me. My initial hypothesis is correct. Not so fast. There's more to this than you know. Anyway, let's put that aside for now. I haven't properly introduced myself yet, have I? I am Makase Kurisu. Pleased to meet you. Even after you grope the shit out of me. What is she trying to do? Shoot lightning from her fingertips? You can't even shake hands? Are all Japanese men this difficult? Shake hands. This girl genius is asking for a handshake. We only met yesterday, and just moments ago she was on the verge of calling the cops. Y you're not Japanese. I lived in America for seven years. What about it? America. I looked down at her slender fingers. Glossy, healthy fingernails. No unnecessary nail polish. What's your problem? I can feel your order of malice. You must be a powerful kung fu master. Don't be ridiculous. Then you're a ninja. Give it a rest. Damn, this woman is completely cold. Her tongue gets scary sometimes, too. And to top it all off, she bursts into the lab and starts inspecting our jail banner without permission. I slowly sneak toward the phone wave, name subject to change, trying not to draw her attention to myself. The last thing I want is Carissa getting close to the phone wave, name subject to change. Fascinating.
have any forceps? Lol, gel banana. Yes, it's a banana made out of gel. It's been gelified. Yes. Oh. What are you doing? That's precious data. It's squishy. You don't say. Carisu licks the gel off her fingertip without any hesitation. No taste. Gross. I have quite the appetite, I see. A side effect of the resurrection, perhaps. If you're that hungry, I guess I could give you a banana or two. I wonder what it's something solid with no taste would feel like in your mouth. It'd probably activate the gag reflex. Mmm, probably. And then again, I think everything has a taste. People say water is tasteless, but it's still... You can still something. taste like... Yeah, you can still taste minerals and other things in it. Especially the brands of water all taste different. Mm-hmm. No thanks. By the way, those bananas are my issues. Come, don't be shy. This is an offering. Take it. As if. Who would eat some Perv's banana? <laughs> <laughs> a perv's banana. Eat a perv's banana. Squishy. Finger in mouth. Gross with a sour expression. Daru, no. Looks like his cranial pervert process is overclocking. Um, can you say that one more time? With a more humility, humiliated expression, if you please. Huh? Come on. Say who could eat some Perv's banana. But if you could add an... Ah, but it's so... After that, it would be extra delicious. Huh? Huh? Uh. <laughs> oh, Dado, you may be a worthless, disgusting purr, but let me say, well done, sir. Now to follow it for the maximum combo. My brain is screaming, keep it PG, lol. <laughs> <laughs> so, Makise Kurisu, you just imagined something, didn't you? By all means, tell us what. Don't be shy. <laughs> Why you? Come on, say it, genius girl. What's the imagination of genius like? I'd love to hear from you. You ass. Looks like she's capable of expressing human emotion after all. I get it. You're both pervs. <laughs> well, you could say that. I don't want to hear that from you. Okay, if I came off as a little rude, I apologize. I was only acting that way because you molested me, but I'll ignore that for now. Please tell me what happened to this banana. I'd also like to hear about that... That microwave thing. That's top secret. The one thing I'm cleared to share with unauthorized individuals, it's that its name is the phone wave, name subject to change. I couldn't care less about its name. I'm afraid that's the only information you're cleared for. Dado and I discussed whether or not we should tell her anything more. Hold on, Okarin. Maki says she might be able to explain what's going on. 
Now. She is a genius. She would have to defeat my sharp wit. We could trust her intellect at least. But it's hard to stomach her attitude. Then, I get a great idea. Creepy grin. You're thinking some perverted thoughts again. You said your name's Christina, right? Who the hell's Christina? I never said that. Christina sounds like the name of a Hollywood film star. It definitely has more flavor than her real name. If you wish to learn the secrets of this microwave, then you must meet my conditions. Which are... Condition one. You must become a lab mem. Ramen? No, lab mim, stupid. Short for laboratory member. Do you mean you want me to join your research team? I'm supposed to return to America in August. I'll have you sign a non disclosure agreement so you won't betray our secrets. Break the agreement, I'll report your steamy, perverted acts to Science Magazine. Ugh. Got a monster cut in. I'll take five copies. The second condition is that you'll overlook all past acts of molestation I may or may not have committed. Urkadin, <laughs> you're so petty. You're the pettiest person I've ever met. That's why we love you. That's why we admire you. Those are the conditions. If you can't accept them, then you must leave at once. <laughs> so, what will it be? I don't think it's a bad deal after all. You mean for you? Jeez. I feel like I'm hyper-secreting noradrenaline. Let me pick my job off the floor. I don't care about your dislocated jaw. Do you accept the conditions or not? Answer me, Christina. Stop adding Tina. My name's Kurisu. Okay. I accept. <laughs> Good answer. From this moment forth, you are lab member zero zero four. Welcome, Christina. Code name: the Zombie. I won't answer to either. Use my real name, Holy. <sighs> Ugh. You're such a child. You say something, genius perv girl? Come on, no more saying perv. I won't treat you like a perv either, so let's drop it already. As long as you understand. Now, for the issue at hand. Daru, give Christina. No Tina, either. Give Kurisukun an explanation of our experiments so far. D. 
だがそれはる。What? But I refuse. <clears throat> In the end, I'm the one who has to explain. Along the way, I also relate the tale of my heroic deeds, which enrages Kurisu, of course. But I finally tell her everything about the bananas and the phone wave, name subject to change. My voice is starting to get a bit tired. I think maybe we need to call it here for the night. Sounds good. Yeah. I shall save. There we go. Excellent. All right, we will pick this up、um, next week, perhaps? Yes. I shouldn't have anything to do Monday. Perfect. Quack. Quack. All right, on that note, we should find someone to raid, unless, of course, you're going to be streaming for a bit longer. And I'm gonna end too. No,、oh, all right then. Um, let's see, who do we have that we could raid? Actually, I know exactly who I could raid Lorelei Chow. How do you spell that? Let me DM it to you. There you go. All right, everyone, raid has been created. Let's go check out Lorelei's new.、Um, Cinnamon roll model that she's got.、Oh. It looks suspiciously like a cinnamon roll, except it's lavender colored. Also, poked a floofy tail. Indeed, quite the floofy tail. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for joining us tonight. We'll pick this up next week. Zoe, thank you for this. Always nice to have you on, three. Absolutely. Everyone, take care. Tomorrow, big celebration. Genevieve Yosso's birthday. Don't miss it. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Lord Rexworth. I wish you all the best and God bless. All right, club patrons, make sure you send all the cheers and head pats, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye.